live. We're live. We're live. Hey everybody, sorry we're an hour late again today. Jeannie and I are on Vegas time. It's not that we just couldn't roll out, you know, what, what time is it at noon here? 10? See, it's 11 a.m. where we're at. Um, we are at an apparel market at the convention center. We actually did come to Vegas to do some work. This is our us working. We now have, you know, document proof. Jeannie and I are working, but uh, the featured speaker at this apparel market was uh, Katy Perry. She has a shoe line. It was cool to get to see her speak, although we got here early because we knew it would be busy. We stood in line. We're like the first in the door. We run back to the part where she is speaking. It's in the middle. I don't know if you've ever been to it. It's like a trade show before. They have all the booths. And in the back, we just have kind of like a breakaway, small little seating area for meeting room. It would be like, I think I could fill the physique seating and I'm not that interesting. So you can imagine what the crowd was like for Katy Perry. But then we get there and it's like all the exhibitors hogged up all the uh, seats, which kind of sucked since, you know, they're here to sell stuff, not buy stuff. And, uh, but we finally were able to get close enough. I could kind of see her. Jeannie, I think, saw maybe the back of some people's heads because, you know, she was not a good situation if you were short. But it was cool to hear her talk, hear about her, talk about her shoe line. Um, and when she actually started her shoe line, it was part of like a big global, um, you know, ma manufacturer who had a lot of brands. And when the pandemic happened, they folded. And it was either lose her shoe line or buy it back. She decided to buy it back. So now she is her company. And that's kind of cool. Um, I've been told we're not allowed to sell shoes. That's the last thing we need to do. Um, and so we won't be buying any Katy Perry shoes. We could have gone and saw her in the booth. We wanted to stand in another line, but we're not going to buy shoes. And, and Jeannie and I were already tired of standing because we stood for what, about two hours this morning? Something like that. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. And so we're here and we've walked the floor and we've seen some things that we like, but the sizes just start cut large enough. I don't know why they just go up like one more size. I saw some really cool tops and even with oversized. I'm like, this is the extra large pass. So I think the theme may be a little too young contemporary for us, but it's good to get out of the house and see because um, there's one thing when you see stuff on the runway, most of the runway stuff you and I are never going to see in a store or be able to afford. Um, when you come here, we at least get to see what the uh, suppliers are cutting, what the styles are, and what's going to be on the shelves for spring. So we're actually here for spring, uh, believe it or not. Um, and just like last time we were at a apparel market in Dallas, when we were there in March, yeah, March, um, Granny Squares, Granny Squares, Granny Squares, Granny Squares, everywhere. And this is in the Young Contemporary. I mean, it is really super hot. Um, we have seen um, some really cute uh, vintage dresses that are really cute with kind of the A-line and look like something you'd sew yourself almost, but just we're kind of glad to see that style. It was, it was nice. Um, prints, lots and lots and lots of prints. Moo moos, that's what we're calling them. They probably call it a, a shifter, captain, or I don't know what, but it basically a moo moo, which, you know, maybe since we can't fit into the full tops we saw very well, we maybe we need to look at moo moos. Poofy, things that are poofy. Um, we saw poofy everything, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Poofy is in. What else did we see? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to keep you guys in the know. Mm -hmm. Vintage, poofy. Yeah, that pretty much covers it. Yeah. yeah, so at least kind of lets us kind of see what's happening and what's actually going to be there for people like you and me to go to the store and buy come spring so we can get, you know, in the know. So it wasn't a waste of time, although it was a lot of walking and a lot of standing. But we got to see Katy Perry. She didn't sing, but that's okay. As you can see, in the back, we're at the convention center right now. This is our, us working. We haven't been here so far. But in the background, the big orb over there, that is at the MS. Um, sphere. It's going to have like all LED screens around it. It's going to be like really cool. It's going to be the hottest ticket in town when that opens. It's out the back of our hotel. You see the Venetian over there. I think the Plaza Tower is kind of hiding behind when we're seeing the Plaza. Um, you see Paris, Paris in the background, Cosmopolitan. So that's, yeah, we're here. Proof of life. We're still here. We, first thing we got here, we pulled what, an 18 hour day? Mm -hmm. We were like, we went a little crazy eating. I don't know if it's ever happened before. It, it's highly possible Jeannie and I could become the first two people to OD in Vegas from food, from intake of calories and carbs, because we have been like eating. So yesterday, I think we woke up, we were like, in fact, I don't think we would even woke up except I'd meet us at reservations at the Cosmopolitan for their buffet that we could speak. Super good, you must mm -hmm. go there. And we couldn't miss out on that because it's kind of sometimes hard to get into. And so we rolled out and managed to put more food in our mouth. And then we didn't eat the rest of the day, did we? Mm -mm. I think we ate some chicken for dinner and called it good. So today we are we have not eaten. I'm actually feeling hungry. So it may be another day of calorie-arama. Because <laughs> tomorrow all we do is roll out of bed and come home. That's no fun. 
Yeah, but we've been having a good time. We, like I said, we've done other things than eat. There was um, some shoe shopping yesterday. Yeah, I'm at the Tory Bur Birch store, and I think two pairs of Tory Birch are coming home with me. Yeah, I figured after playing the roulette, I said, well, I'd rather wear my money on my feet than stick it in a machine. So I went and bought me some new shoes. I like to buy shoes when I travel. And then we've seen two Cirque du Soleil shows. I had already got us tickets to win. We went to see oh, the Bellagio, phenomenal. Bellagio is always nice. We picked the one. I thought, well, that's a nice hotel, so we'll go see that one first. And then we had so much fun. And then last night, we're like, we can sit here and play roulette and eat, or we'll just go to see another show. So we went down to the MGM Grand and saw Kauf, and it was fabulous, too. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to do that tonight. Tonight, we're going to try to go to the ice bar. That's Katie right. wants to yes. go to the ice bar. Yeah. <laughs> and, and this is Jeannie, who's usually too cold. So I'm really curious to see how, how this goes. I thought, okay. It's going to be fun. Complain about being cold at the ice bar. We'll see how that That's goes. That's right. So um, it was happening back home. Before I left, I managed to get some stuff done. It's been, yeah, I've been so tired from fixing the floor. That's what, the reason I needed this trip. Um, yeah, I was a little whiny. But I did get the class schedule done for fall. We've got it up through November, actually. Um, we've added some new classes. Uh, some of our favorite technique classes are back in case you missed them last fall. We plan on keeping them in the road, road you know, in the lineup because they're things that you always need to learn. But we have added brioche basics, just like get started on brioche. Um, it's, uh, I think sometimes it depends on what project you start as far as how challenging it can be. Um, it's not for everyone, but it's fun to do. So we're going to get you into brioche. Um, and I haven't taught this in forever because you bet it is my shtick is uh, Tarja, um, mainly because. Um, not everybody can do intarsia, especially on like the advanced level. It's not for everybody, but a basic intarsia, we can get you started. If so, if you're interested in color work, uh, where you make pictures and motifs, blocks of color, color blocking is really hot right now too. I can get you started. Even if you have made knit intarsia, but you haven't learned from me, you need to come to my class because my mom was like the expert. No one can knit intarsia as well as my mom did. No one. So anybody out there teaching classes, if they're not didn't learn from my mom, roll your eyes. You've got to come learn from me. I will show you stuff that you will know no one at, nowhere else, and techniques that my mom actually even invented, came up with herself. So we thought, well, we'll get Natasha on the on the class schedule. So that. What else do we add? We have something else to do. Oh, granny squares. Mm -hmm. Hey, they're everywhere. You might as well make some granny square. Things are easy to make. So Judy's going to get you going on granny squares and pack. We have uh, two fun uh, crochet along knit along projects coming up uh, starting in September. Uh, for knitting, we're doing Fair Isle. We're going to do a gorgeous uh, Fair Isle scarf uh, from Lisa Richardson out of uh, Multitude Colors. It's from last season. It's gorgeous. It's called the Jade Scarf. Um, really pretty, and it's color work that's you know very doable. You can do it. And then GD is doing uh, a crochet bag. It's a sunflower toad. It's super cute. It's uh, if you can do granny squares, you can make this. It's very easy and be a really fun little bag to carry around. Bags are hot. We've seen a lot of bags that have kind of that yarn look while we're here. Um, so you'll definitely be in style. What else did we put on the schedule? I think later on, you remember we're going to do like pom and tassels, uh, mainly how to use all the cool makers that we have. Uh, they're a lot easier to do if you have the right tools. Um, and I think that's about it. I don't remember. We've been, we're in Vegas. What can we see? Yeah. The sad thing is when we come home, I'm going to have to start, we're, we're like on a whole new schedule. Yeah, we'll be rolling out of bed at noon, <laughs> right? <laughs> Sounds good. And I'm going to start getting ready at 5 a.m. soon because school's starting out. So we're going to have a little re-entry problems this week. So we may be kind of, you know, buzz brain when we get back, but we'll eventually get back in the loop. I know when I get home next Tuesday, well, I'll get home tomorrow, but when next Tuesday when you see us and we're back home, I'm going to have so many new things to show you. Blow your mind because it started, all the invoices started coming in, fall is a coming. It is coming fast. We've got I know it. We have Louise Harding. We have uh, Juniper Moon. Um, some stuff from Likey, I think. I don't know if it's new stuff from Likey or just more stuff from Likey. I've lost count. I do think we get some new stuff from Likey soon. Oh. Yeah. And um, I don't know what else. It's just crazy. it's time for Rowan to start shipping. But Rowan actually launches September first for fall. So we're excited to show you that as well. Which means I'm going to have to get busy and wax floors when we get back. It's our Labor Day weekend activity. I'm going to wax the floors, we're going to fix the tile. I will be tired, but it's all good. Then we'll be, we better not have no more water leaks. I don't have time for that. We ain't got time no. for that. Okay, no. well, I'm glad you guys joined me live from Vegas today, and we'll be back in our normal spot next week. Bye, y'all.